Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Now, today we are going to... We'll first look at our daily almanac entry. Uh, we were at Repeater. Alright, Repeater is fierce. He's from the streets. He doesn't take attitude from anybody, plant or zombie, and he shoots peas to keep people at a distance. Secretly though, Repeater yearns for love. Aww. Anyways, let's do some mini games. Uh, so we got three to choose from. I think as we go on, more are unlocked. So, here we got Zombotany. Now, uh, this is where the zombies actually have range, you know? Um, they shoot at you just like, you know, your pea shooter, and they take a lot more damage just like this walnut here. So, um, jeez, I don't exactly remember how to go about this. I know we probably gonna need sunflowers, um, cherry bomb wouldn't be bad to have. Probably gonna need more than just a pea shooter to counter these things. So, uh, let's get some snow peas. Potato mines. Yeah, potato mine will be good because they probably can't shoot those. Our own walnuts, squash, chompers, and. Yeah, actually, instead of a snow pea, I'll have a regular pea shooter and. See if we can get the three Peter out there just to show you what it's like. If you didn't realize this by now, like each most of the uh, plants have like gimmick names. You know, sunflower gives you sun. Uh, a squash squashes people. You know, walnut acts like a wall. It's kind of funny how like people realize. Oh shit. Shoot! Oh my god, they're killing my sunflowers. Shoot, I need some walnut. Oh my god, this is not good. Oh dear. Yeah, so they... These, uh... Zombie plants can shoot at your... Yeah, they shoot. Okay, so basically that makes it a lot more difficult. It's more than just, like, taking care of them before you, they get to your plants, but... You're taking care of them right away. So I'm going to just like I'm not gonna take any chances. I wanna keep my sunflowers alive. Shoot. I'm gonna wait until that thing has like five hits. Or I'll put this right there. Start shooting it. Come on now. Oh god. So you this This is actually a lot more difficult than the actual stages and we haven't dealt with any sort of minigame like this before. So you're gonna have to rely heavily on your walnuts here. Just to, you know, absorb the damage so that like your main weapons won't get destroyed every time a single pea shooter zombie comes along. These zombies don't show up in the almanac unfortunately, it's just a gimmick. Uh albeit a very good one. I think if they get up close they still eat yeah, they still physically eat your plants. Leave that alone. Shoot, that guy's gonna die. Oh man, he's dead. No! Okay, this is this is getting problematic. I need more sun. Leave that sunflower alone. Get him. So yeah. I don't know how many hits my plants can take. That sunflower's about to go. I'm to put this in the way. Shoot, he's eating my potato mine. No! Oh my god. Squish him. I'm gonna need some more walnuts here. That walnut's almost just about had it. This one's about to go. Maybe I should have waited until we got some better plants. Oh dear. Okay, okay, this is... Wow, this is actually <laughs> a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. Considering it's only the first minigame. You know, I'm losing plants left and right. So you gotta be very strategic about it, I suppose. The mine plant would be useful to have here. I don't, like... Their heads don't fall off, like, they don't pop off like the normal zombie heads do. So 
so it's not as satisfying as like killing a regular zombie. This is just really challenging. So if that's right up your alley, then yeah. Start shooting, you guys. Come on. Oh my goodness. Just keep planting plants, I suppose. Gotta take care of that walnut before he does some... Oh wow, T took out two of them. Nice. Well, this, this potato might should take care of that guy. There's still another large wave to come. Protect. Now I got all my rows protected with their walnuts. Should give me enough time to plant more sunflowers and get some more defenses up. The only thing I got here, though, is this chomper. And you can only do so much. So what I'm gonna do is squash that guy. Plant another sunflower. Chomper there. Dig that one up so I can put in a uh, pea shooter. I'm gonna dig this up too so I can put a pea shooter there too. Jeez, this guy's not even halfway gone. Squish him. Yeah, the, the squash can also go left. They can like, you know, if even if your the your target zombie is a little bit beyond where you plant your squash, he uh. He can jump back and take care of him. Oh, it's starting to get... Yeah. So basically, you definitely need superior firepower here. You can't just, like... And even though these pea shooter zombies have the strength of, uh... You know, just a regular zombie... Uh, you're gonna have to... Whatchamacallit... You're gonna have to plant a lot more since they shoot back. It's not a matter... They don't... It's not like they don't do damage until they get right up to you. As I'm sure you've obviously seen, I've lost a lot of plants. I think I've lost more plants in this one minigame than I have, like, in the entire adventure. But now's a good time to show off the three-peater. See, the three-peater here, it shoots three peas, but in three different lanes. So it's one, two, three. So you can effectively cover all the lanes with just two of these three-peaters. So that's, that's pretty good. However, notice that like even though the three Peters have three times the firepower, they cost more than three times of oh shoot. They cost more than three times that of a regular pea shooter. Uh, why is that? I don't know. I guess it's because it's more compact. Like you can cover three rows with a single plant, and that allows you to plant other things there. It's very useful, especially in the uh, the pool levels. I think that's why they gave it to you then. Oh man, I feel a sneeze coming on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, oh. see, like how I have these two three peters here, and they cover these three lanes. So every other lane, I can just put a chomper instead, which may be a better idea just to take care of any like more problematic zombies. <coughs> so now, like each one of these lanes has effectively three p, p powers. Uh. Three, three times the firepower, <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, squash him. Bam, and you get a trophy. And when you get a trophy, you get a gem, uh, a diamond there. I remember when I was so excited to get a diamond in the actual adventure. You you get one just from uh, beating the minigame. Now, if you play it again, you only get, uh, I think, three gold coins or something like that. But still, that's a lot of money for a single minigame. Now, let's try walnut bowling. Well, this is the same stuff we saw before, so... Except we're dealing with bucket heads now, so those take three heads, as you might guess. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna wait for him to come closer, so that uh, I have multiple zombies to hit, maybe. But I'm only getting these regular walnuts for all the explosive ones. So yeah, there we go. So anyways, today is Friday. Friday, Friday, gotta get down Friday. Um, today has been actually a pretty good day so far. Uh, number one, I don't have my lab today because my professor is out on a conference because he's also the head of the physics department. Uh, secondly, 
I had some good cereal for breakfast. I mean, I remember earlier this week being upset that there wasn't uh, any good cereal in the house. And, you know, I really liked my cereal. You know, I gotta have it. And I'm not talking about corn pops or anything like that. Like, we had, we had Frosted Flakes, and Frosted Flakes are really good. Except when you get to, you know, the bottom of the bag where you just get all that, like, random crumbly stuff. It just ruins your milk, makes it all, like... Makes it like you're drinking oatmeal or something. Oh, dude, he jumped over it. Um, but yeah, I don't really like oatmeal, and I don't like anything that has the texture of oatmeal. Like, I mean, oatmeal flavor. Like, I like oatmeal cookies, for example, but I don't like actual oatmeal because I just don't like the texture of it. It just feels mushy to me, and uh, yeah, I don't really like it. So this morning I went downstairs and we had. Two new boxes of cereal, one of uh, Cocoa Puffs and one of, uh, whatchamacallit. I think every consecutive zombie you hit, you get an additional silver coin. <sighs> one box of Cocoa Puffs and one box of uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, that's what we had. So I had my, well, not Cocoa Puffs, but Cocoa Krispies. So I had my Cocoa Krispies today, and that was a good start to the day. And then, uh... I went out to lunch with a good friend of mine since I didn't have to go to class. So now I have a pretty full belly. I had a, a breakfast burrito at like for lunch. A breakfast burrito from Pepe's. And why I would have a breakfast burrito for lunch is just because these breakfast burritos are really, really good. Um, if you don't know what Pepe's is, it's just like, you know, it's, I think it's just a small, like, single uh, fast food ish restaurant. But, uh,. Man, we're running out of walnuts here. Blow those guys up. But yeah, it's it's just a really good burrito. It's about the size of a Chipotle burrito, but just only it's only five dollars. And I'm assuming that's because their ingredients aren't as high quality, but I don't care. It tastes great. So yeah, that's a good start to the day, and I was originally uh, dreading today because I have a doctor's appointment to go to, and it is an appointment that I made. It's not just a checkup, it's because I have to get something done. Oh, jeez, this newspaper guy, I'm not paying attention at all. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, doctor's appointment. Like, I have... Jeez, I don't know if I should be talking about this, but, um... I have some, I don't even know what they are, I think they're some sort of virus growing under my skin, and uh, you know, I've had one on my right hand, my ring finger, in that, you know, like your fingers split up into three segments, the segment that's closest to your palm, I had one on my ring finger, and I had that for a very long time, and I was taking some medicine that was like slowly shrinking it. And uh, I've been taking it like pretty consistently in the past few months, but then recently, you know, I I've had this one for like a very, very long time, and I've only like recently started to take care of it. But recently, I just this virus started to spread or something like that. So now it's on my middle finger of my right hand. It's on my, f it's on all of my fingers on my right hand except for my pinky. So like I can feel it whenever I write or something like that. It just makes things very difficult. are catching up. These mini games are actually a lot harder than I remember them to be. Maybe it's just because I'm not paying that much attention. But yeah, I, I was originally dreading this day because of that. And I still have this doctor appointment to go to and like uh, the appointment's at 3.40 and right now it's about 2.40 2 so I have to leave in like half an hour or something like that. But uh after seeing how the day has gone so far, I don't feel so bad about it anymore. You know, maybe it'll be a pretty quick procedure, pretty good doctor. Alright, that thing's getting way too close. I hate to waste an explosive walnut on just a single, just a single guy. Jeez, I'm running out. I'm out of walnuts. <laughs> Not good. Rebound. Do the rebound. There we go. Explode an eight. What? A small explosion. Shoot. Shoot. Crud. Crud. 
but, uh, yeah. So that's why I'm recording this video right now, is because I don't know how functional my hands will be once uh, the procedure's over, or what they'll do. Maybe they'll freeze it off, maybe they'll actually cut it out, which I can't imagine to be very uh, comfortable. I like how this thing's called an explodo nut. It's gross, man. Like, the nuts explode. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm. It's, uh... Oh my gosh. Three of them? Okay, distracted one of them. Man. Blow up! Forgetting that's not gonna work like that. Bounce up, bounce up. Yes, there we go. Oh man, we made Grandpa angry. Or Pops. Or whoever he is. Alright, I think we took care of this wave. Yeah, that was a... I mean, we didn't... Like, start failing or anything. Not like when I tried to do the night level without a mushroom. But so we got pretty close to setting off one of our lawnmowers there. And, you know, those five lawnmowers are worth uh, 250. Now let's see here. Uh... Since there's you know, five by four, there's twenty of these. I think I'll just do. T oh dear. Oh, sorry, I burped. Um, two mini games for now, and once we unlock some more mini games, then uh, then we'll go back to it. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna record some adventure right now, but it's gonna be a separate video. So until then, tune in next time.